Hello everyone and welcome to another SAP S4 HANA highlights video. Today we're going to take a look at the transaction VA01. VA01 has always been a top used transaction in SAP SD and is one of the most important transactions you'll find in the order to cash process. So we know this is going to be available. We just want to take a look at this to see is it significantly different? Is it more or less what you've seen before? What's new? So in this one, we'll go ahead and jump in and take a quick look, and then we'll come back again in some additional videos and take a look at some of the special features in VA01. Okay, so let's jump in and take a quick look now. Okay, so let's go take a quick look. I'll run VA01. Sure enough, it's available. Let's take a quick peek at the menu paths. Create, change, display, create with reference, edit, go to environment. Um, more or less everything's looking like what I'm used to seeing. So let's go ahead and create one here. I'll just use a standard order type and a sales area that I'm familiar with in the system. Create mode, everything's looking really good. The same as what I'm used to, very small differences. I see a couple of additional buttons here. Loading units and aggregation categories, check document availability. Okay, that's gonna be the same as before that one. Customer reference and customer reference date. Uh, slight changes on the text there for purchase order number and purchase order date. And down here, everything's looking pretty much the same. I can see down here at the item level, the buttons have moved from down here before to above the items. I think that's probably a, actually a slight improvement. And I can still scroll here. Everything else is looking the same. A couple of new buttons here. We've got check group availability and here we've got item activities so looks pretty much like we've seen before let's go ahead and continue and create an order here push out a requested date a few days and let's go ahead and put in material let's go with 120 and I'm just gonna click on the enter button no customer master for sole two party it's fine expected Okay, you can see the messages on our dates. Payment terms, okay, so payment terms didn't default in from the customer, that's fine. This customer must not have a default one set up. It's running through its normal order checks, which is good. You can see a little pricing is missing. We can complete, um, often that could be from the plant, let's check that. Okay, plant is missing. Let's go ahead and pop that in. That's fine. We just didn't uh, default in a plant. And let's go complete the pricing that it's asking for. I'll just pick that item. We're going to drill down to the item conditions. Let's see if we can manually pop this one in here or if we're going to have to do some pricing updates. And we're going to coffee and tea. Okay, so I don't want to pay more than. $400 and $4.50 per unit. Okay, sales tax is configured on this one. So let's guess approximately 6.5%. Some estimates. There we go. Everything looks good. So I'm going to check some of the menus here. Edit, go to everything menu wise is looking pretty similar. Uh, let's check incompletion, see if it's working more or less the same. Sure enough, incompletion log comes up. You can see I've got a couple incomplete items here on the Inco terms. That's not surprising. So let's just put in cost, insurance, and freight to the destination.
It's going to redetermine our freight for us. Document is complete. Okay. So it looks really good. More or less just quickly entering a sales order as we would an ECC before. I think everything looks pretty good here. Let's go ahead and save this and see if it, uh, any additional checks or messages. That's great. We've got our order number. Okay, since this is a highlights video, we don't want it to get too long. So, as you can see, VA01 uh, is more or less the same as before. We've got a couple additional uh, features in there we noticed as far as buttons and mini paths. So, we can investigate those further. Let's go ahead and come back and take a look at VA02 and VA03 as well. We can investigate a little bit more, but uh, VA01 itself looks really good. So, I think uh, what we're seeing is this going to fall in that category of transactions. It's more or less the same, uh, no, no significant impact on us by going to HANA S4. Okay, thank you.